The county's force has launched its summer anti-drink drive campaign, as Peter Whittlesey reports. Clamping down a Christmas, drink driving campaigns have centred on the festive party period, but today Kent Police launches its summer crackdown. Well, the summer campaign is really our opportunity to, um, to be proactive. Um, collisions, serious collisions, deaths on the road uh, continue. Um, we know that drink and drugs play a part in that. Statistically, one in five road deaths uh, involve uh, the driver uh, being under the influence of drink or drugs, uh, and that, that's a massive problem. So, I must have an early car and doing a breath test. Look, you had two pints, you're over the limit. That's a 12 month ban on a criminal record. Hey. Hard hitting campaigns have reinforced those statistics, and the public backed the police's summer campaign. We do need to see uh, the concerns of Death Lighting all year round. We seem to believe that, you know. There's always people out and about, especially the weekend. People entertain more on a warm afternoon. They might have a few drinks or, you know, you get half price drinks in the town. And I don't think some people realise how much they're consuming. Road checks will be countywide. The police message is clear. If you break the law, you will be caught. Peter can see BBC South East today. Mate, so. Police are appealing for witnesses after a woman in her 20s was sexually assaulted in East Grinstead. The woman was walking through Mount Noddy Cemetery between Moat Road and Badger's Way when her attacker forced her to the ground and indecently assaulted her. Two people tried to intervene but ran off after the man threatened them. He's described as white in his early 20s. He was wearing a grey and white striped hoodie. An investigation is underway into the cause of a barn fire in Maidstone where a man died. Crews were called to Forstall Lane in Coxheath yesterday afternoon where they found the barn containing baled hay on fire. A post-mortem examination found the man died as a result of the fire. Police say they're not treating his death as suspicious. Members of the English Defence League laid flowers at Brighton's War Memorial this morning in memory of murdered soldier Lee Rigby. The move prompted a small demonstration including members of Brighton anti-fascist who laid their own flowers and banners. We were concerned that this went off peacefully today because we didn't want any uh, disruption in the, in the city or any, any disorder. Um, we're just really pleased that people were able to uh, carry out their, their business in a sensible fashion uh, and move on without any need for police intervention. A woman from Tunbridge Wells who was told she would never walk again after suffering a brain injury is celebrating after finishing a foundation fine art degree. Chloe Cook, who's 27, fractured her skull and sustained serious injuries after falling downstairs in 2004. She's now staging an exhibition of her work at K College in Tunbridge where she studied. I've worked for this, I, I've earned this and I feel like, do you know what? No, all the hard work and all the times that I lost hope thinking I'd never be able to achieve my goals, all those times where I never gave up, it's proven that if you work at it, you can get there. The iconic long man of Wilmington was given a facelift today by a group of scouts from Sussex. They spent several hours painting the 70 metre high chalk figure who is a mysterious guardian of the South Downs National Park. And what a lovely day for it. Here's Elizabeth with the weather. Good evening. Still some brightness left to come across parts of Surrey and Sussex, western areas of Kent in particular. We will see some cloud coming and going through the course of the night, but it will be a dry one. A light northwesterly breeze and temperatures widely down to around 8 or 9 degrees Celsius, although they could drop a touch lower than this in the rural spots. So in general, a bit of a chillier start to the day tomorrow.